Hey everyone! As you may already know, when a person submits information through a Squarespace form, this information is emailed to only one recipient, which is usually the owner of the site, support team, or even someone else depending on the type of form. But what if you want to also send a copy to the person that submitted the form, which is currently not possible natively on Squarespace? Well, and Take a Mac can solve this problem for you very easily. Let me show you exactly how to do that with a simple workflow automation that will receive the information of the form responses and email it to the person that submitted it, as well as the intended recipient of the site. This is the scenario builder that I'll use to create the workflow automation or scenario as we call it here in IntegraMath. First, I'll search for webhooks and select the custom mail hook trigger, which will instantly receive the information of the form responses when it's submitted. This will allow me to then forward the information to whoever I like. All I need to do is add a mail hook and give it a name. Now I just need to copy the link and go over to Squarespace. In the edit option on the form, I simply need to paste the URL in the email address field under the storage tab. This ensures that the information is sent to my scenario as soon as a form is submitted. I'll just apply and then save the changes. Now, let's go back to this scenario. This webhook first needs to learn the data structure of the form so that it can be used in the apps that will be added to the scenario. To do that, I first need to click Run Once, go over to Squarespace, and submit the form. The number in this bubble indicates that the webhook successfully learned the data structure. Now, I need to add the email app that will send a copy of the form responses to the person who submitted it. To do that, I'll click this plus sign and search for the email app. I'll select an action that I want this app to perform, which is to send an email. Now I need to add a connection to IntakerMat and grant some permissions to access my email account. Please note that if you're using an email address that ends with at gmail.com or at googlemail.com, you'll need to click on info here and follow the instructions to connect your account. If it ends in a custom domain, it's a G Suite account and will connect easily. All right, in the to field, I need to add the email address of the person who submitted the form. So I'll drag and drop the reply to data element under headers that contains the person's email address from the webhooks output. In the subject field, I'll drag and drop the subject element. In the content field, I'll just add some text and then map the HTML content element, which contains all the information of the form responses. So the email to this customer is ready to go. Now let's add a second send an email action that will send the same information to the intended recipient of the site. In the to field, I'll enter the email address. Now simply drag and drop the subject and HTML content elements to their respective fields. And that's all that's required to set up this scenario. But let's do a quick test by clicking Run Once and submitting the form one more time. And there you have it. The scenario was instantly triggered and the information of the form responses were received. The email was then sent to both recipients as intended. The final step is to save the scenario and switch it on. I now have a fully automated workflow. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and happy automating.